y'all, Princess Maddie. I'm here with the video number two for today. We have one more video. This one's a little bit more shorter because it's really summed up really good. So we're going to be exile, study of First Peter. And this is basically, how can I put it up? Okay, I can't really sum up what it's all about without looking at my notes. So, um, you, you will be able to know what it's about. Let, let, let me just get in this video before I embarrass myself. So, I just want to start off quoting from James 1.26. Our calling is to bless, not to hurt. Our calling is to bless, not to curse. And let me repeat that again. <laughs> let me repeat that again. Our calling is to bless, not to hurt. Our calling is to bless, not to curse. Okay, now, let's dive in my notes. So, we're going to be in 1 Peter chapter 3. So, go ahead and turn your Bibles to 1 Peter chapter 3. And the next video, you don't have to change your Bible because we're still going to be in chapter 3 of 1 Peter. So, you're, you're good. Okay, so the first point is to change your perspective. And I got that from 1 Peter 3, 9. Not returning evil for evil or revealing for revealing. I hope I'm saying that right. Revealing, whatever. I hope I'm saying it right. But on the con contrary blessing, knowing that you were called to this, that you may inherit a blessing. So, like I was saying, respond and respond to an insult with a kind gesture. We receive blessing from God seeing from God seeing our Christ-like behavior. God will bless you with good days. And then from verse 10, um, for he who would love life and see good days, let him refrain his tongue from evil and his lips from speaking to sight. So I want to say all that before I sum that all up. So changing your perspective really just means, you know, in our generation, especially my generation, like if someone's mean to you, you automatically have to pop off or you automatically have to go off. You automatically have to threaten someone. And God's song has to be a complete opposite. They want to be rude to you, be like, oh, have a good day. All oh, God bless you. Be a, That's how you get blessings. Like, God will bless you with good days and like protect your tongue. Don't say curse words. Don't lie. Do the right thing. Tell the truth and make people feel good because they need it. They coming at you like that sideways. They, they need goodness in their life. So deliver it to them. The second point is cultivate Christian character. And that means learning to respond to unkind words with kind words Christians are called to Christians are called to learning to respond with to unkind words with kind words and in this generation in this world right now it's hard to do that but it's required for us to do it because you're not only doing it like to better someone else's mood but it's gonna help you you're gonna be like wow Instead of me going off on them and giving them the energy that they want from me, I'm doing the opposite. And that person, although we don't see it, they may, they might be in their head like, oh, they didn't get a reaction. Well, duh, I ain't giving you no reaction. You ain't worth my time. But, you know, you know what I mean. Verse 8. I read that to you. Finally, all of you will be one mind, having compassion for one another. Love as brothers, be tenderhearted, be be tenderhearted. Yeah. So be like-minded, sympathetic, love one another, be compassionate and humble. Philippians 2. Strive for unity. For one. Become one mind. Just like said in verse 8. Finally, all of you be of one mind. Us Christians need to be of one mind. Respond to unkindness with kindness. Like Selena Gomez said, I don't listen to her music, but I heard somebody say this. Kill him with kindness. Okay. And last, pursue, pursue peace. Pursue, 
pursue, pursue, pursue peace. Verse 10, let's read again. For he who would love life and see good days, let him refrain his tongue from evil and his lips from speaking deceit. I'm going to keep reading. Let him turn away from evil and do good. Let him seek peace and pursue it. For the eyes of the Lord are on the righteous and his ears are open to their prayers. But the face of the Lord is against those who do evil. So, and I'm going to close with this. So, but the face of the Lord is against those who are evil. So those who do evil things to you, what I just read, but the face of the Lord is against those who are evil. And before that, for the eyes of the Lord are on the righteous and his ears are open to the righteous there, the righteous prayers. Don't let a negative person get to you, babes, because God's just like, babes, I'm supporting you. I got you. God just like, uh -uh, you disrespect my child. Child, are you okay? That's is what God does every single day for us. So I'm going to prepare, do a little five minute get up and walk around and stretch my legs. And I will see y'all in the next video. <laughs> Have a good one.